Kim Smith. Um, let me tell you about my son Zane, who is four and four months now. Um, long journey to getting diagnosed. First got ill at seven months old. We was told swine flu. We was told teething, um, possible allergies. We went through tests for wheat, um, dairy, all that sort of thing. Um, felt fogged off for a lot of the time. They just kept saying, "He's got a bug. He's got a. He's got a bug. He's got a bug." Um, or he's got um, just an illness that is like having the flu that you can't treat. So he didn't get diagnosed till he was two. And the reason he got diagnosed was he spent a whole month being ill. Sickness, um, lethargy, literally no life in him. And eventually, after being admitted into hospital twice in the space of two weeks, a doctor said, we're gonna do an MRI. We thought, complete waste of time, just because he's being sick. What has that got to do with his head? But um, it came back that he had about between seven and nine lesions, which they told us were abnormal blood clusters called cavernomas. Um, and yeah, we were really shocked, massively shocked, because although that they could tell us what it was, they couldn't tell us how to treat it or if there was a cure or what caused it, nothing. Um, so in the past two years since Zane's been diagnosed, um, along the journey we have had genetic testing. He has got a CCM3, which is the most aggressive form of cavernomas, um, and it means that he has yearly MRIs and every MRI there is more. We can only hope that maybe one year he might have an MRI and there might be less, but this is this is cavernomas. It, they are there's no cut and dry with cavernomas. It's not black and white. There's no we can do this to stop it. We can do this to slow it down. We can remove it. We can't remove it. It's all it's all a wait and see situation for pretty much everyone in in our shoes. Um, we just we only hope that. Every day is a good day and um, recently we went to Chicago and they have advised on um, a medication that might help Zane because one of Zane's side effects are that he does what they call random dance-like movements. Um, it's due to quite a large cavernoma in like the top centre bit of his um, brain and uh, they've said this particular medication could help with it so they are going to forward the information on to our consultants in this country um, also um, Zane's one of his other side effects is he has terrible what I call Jekyll and Hyde moments goes from good to bad in a second high to low and he's he's always so very apologetic but some of his behavior is unacceptable and the trouble is it's so easy with a child to say do you know what my son's got a condition he can't help it but I, I, I'm not that sort of parent and I, I firmly believe that even though it's very hard when you've got an ill child you really must treat them as normal as possible you really must you, you must um, reprimand them when they're naughty let them know what's good what's bad what's right and what's wrong because whether they're ill or not there is still clear-cut lines of good and bad so you know with any luck this medication that they've advised will help with that as well which will mean that they will have a better quality of life because with the constant twitching and the random movements I honestly believe it really wears him out sometimes and it frustrates him and that is why he lashes out and that is why his behaviour is so all over the place. Um, and if this medication helps, then all the better. And as much as I don't like the medication, you have to be open-minded because you don't know what could help and what couldn't help. So you have to trust your instincts and just go with it, basically.